Hey folks, welcome back to the wildlife. We're here today with Mr. Stick and Shoot himself, Wes Adamson. Wes, how in the world did you come up with Stick and Shoot? Well, me and my partner were sitting around one night after a long hunt, and he said, you know, we need to come up with a magnetic light. I'm tired of holding a light. <laughs> and I said, well, surely to God there's one out there. <laughs> but there wasn't. And after many months of research and uh, a lot of patent searches, uh, we decided to move forward with it and came up with this very simplistic product, and, and it's gone over very, very well. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool, simple idea. I mean, all you do is stick it on your rifle, your bow, your crossbow. I mean, it, it's a cool, cool concept. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. And we, we, we use a lot on the wildlife, I mean, as you can see. Yep. So, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's really a cool product, and, and we're glad you're part of the wildlife, and, and, and it, it's, it's really cool. Well, we're really glad to be here, too, and we're really glad that you took the time to help us showcase our product, and so we can kind of show you some of the different ways and varieties that this light can be used. And... Uh, We've sold them all over the United States and just getting tremendous feedback from everybody. That's cool, man, because if you keep watching the wildlife, you're going to see the stick and shoot on there a lot because I do a lot of uh, nighttime hog hunting, farming hunting, bow frogging, as you've already seen, stuff like that. And, and we've found all kinds of uses for it. I mean, it's, it's cool. I mean, it's really cool. We use it for skinning deer at night and stuff like that, sticking on the metal <laughs> pole, whatever you got to do. I mean, it's it's very user friendly and it's very uh, adaptable to anything. I mean, it's cool. Well, nice thing is you can stick it on the stick shift of your truck and whatever gun you throw in there, you got a light for that gun. It's <laughs> yeah, ready to I mean, go. It, 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 it's it's a cool product. I mean, I, it's got that cool factor. Is why I keep saying cool, but it, it's it's really neat deal, man. And uh, uh, great great idea. I mean. It's crazy that it's never even been thought of before but in, until now because it's so simple. I mean, it's easy to use. Anybody can use it. Think Home the, protection, anything. Think of the Rayovac flashlights 20 years ago that had a magnet on you, stuck it on your refrigerator. Now, why didn't somebody come up with this? I don't know. <laughs> I, never th I never thought about that one. But that's, that's been a long time ago, but I remember that yeah, light. <laughs> that was probably back before you were born. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really do remember that light, though. I thought it was pretty cool back then. <laughs> But it's a, it's a great product, man, and uh, we hope to uh, push it and, and, and sell a lot of them for you on the show and everything. Well, I'll tell you what, it's going along. It's going real good. You know, we're getting a lot of feedback, and, of course, we've been doing shows all over several states and um, selling a lot of them, and, you know, I just get calls day in and day out about it, and, and uh, we just keep shipping. So. Yeah, that's what it takes right there, the dedication and stuff like that and, and the good workmanship on the product i mean which everything about it is, is solid as mm -hmm. solid as it can be everything on it works i mean neat neat stuff well you know we've uh, we've done every field test in the world on it we've sunk it in a swimming pool <laughs> you know we froze it in the freezer we even had the texas national guard you know and they drug it through every field <laughs> test in the world dropped it from 40 feet up in the air and ran over it with their humvees and but the most impressive test to me was they shot 200 rounds off their M249, and you know how hot that wow. makes a barrel. Wow. And, wow. you know, that's the worst enemy of a magnet, yeah. and it still stayed on and rode. But we shot it off a 410 elephant gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have uh, 338s, 300s, so it'll ride. That's, that's, that's cool stuff. It, and, 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 and with, you know, I, I mainly bow hunt mostly and stuff like that, but, I mean, I, I put it through a lot. You know, when I go out and stuff, and, and it's always on my bow every time I go out. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing how it works. It's got the pressure switch on it. I mean, it, it's, it's cool. It's gonna be. Well, you know, we started out with it basically as a rifle and shotgun model, and then we altered it down to a bow model, and we cut it down to half the size on that and increased the intensity of the magnets for it and uh, created bow extensions, crossbow extensions, then I came up with the AR-15 block, you know, because, well, just like with this right here, Mike, you know, these are all always plastic or aluminum, right. you know, so what we did, we just created a metallic block here, clamps right onto your Picatinny rail, so 
stick it right on and you're ready to go, you know? But the nice thing is, is you can take it right off again and go stick it on the next guy. And so the versatility of it is what I wanted to do. On top of that, the main thing that I was really after on the lighting system was is that I was so frustrated with 123 lithium batteries. Right. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've been in the woods. <sighs> and, you know, and at the time of need, that's when they get tired. And when they quit, they just go they, out. They quit. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're expensive to buy. Yes, they also. are. Very expensive, and, and you know. And you, you can't, can't just, just buy them at the yeah, store. Yeah, you can't just find them anywhere. You yeah. Can't, you can't find them at any little grocery store you go to and stuff like that. You know, these run off of three AAA that's, that's batteries. That's crazy. You know, this is your little element right here that you just load three AAA batteries in. Little battery cartridge. It's a little cartridge, <laughs> you know, and you just stick it in there. And, uh, you know, at our shows, we run them for four solid hours. You know, we'll change them out after that. Your intensity after four solid hours of running will then start to diminish. But they'll run over ten hours, so you can get out of the woods even if, you know, you're done with your hunt. But um, it's um, it's very simple. You know, and the nice thing is these are very inexpensive. You oh, know, yeah, as far yeah. as that's, that's what makes it nice. And you go to 7-Eleven and get them. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, and, and what's crazy is, I probably shouldn't say this on camera, but anyway, I haven't changed the batteries in, I don't think, but maybe one of my stick and shoots, and I've got, I think I've got three, maybe four stick and shoots yeah. that you've given me. And I, I've only changed the batteries in one of them, yeah. you know. <laughs> I mean, and I well, use it quite a bit, yeah. you know, and I, I'm real conservative when I use it, but it, it, it's, they last. But you know what a lot of our customers have done is, is that they'll buy our scanning light, which is the same light that's in the stick and shoot. But, you know, you can use this to scan out there, pick up your eyes, and then when you pick up your eyes, you drop that light, yeah, turn on your shoot. stick and shoot. Yeah. You know you're, that light's still at full intensity to make your shot. Exactly. And, uh, you know, what's really fun is, is something like this right here is, is that even with just regular oh, wow. iron sights on a 30-30, yeah. you know, you turn this on, it looks like you've got a fluorescent tip on the end of it. <laughs> you know, everybody in the yeah. shows and everything, they pick yeah. it up and I, the same thing says every time, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, but, that's, that's But cool. that way, you know, whether you're using iron sights, whether you're using it with a scope. Right, it'll go on grandpa's mm -hmm. gun all the way down to dad's and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and who's ever or whatever, as long as it's got a metallic barrel on it, I mean, it, it'll, it'll work. Sure. Yeah, and, cool. you know, with our design, and that's what we patented was the design of it, it doesn't matter if you're sticking it on the magazine of a 22 or you're sticking it on a full bull barrel of, of any high caliber gun, right. it's going to stick. Right. And I've got, a, I've got an old nine-shot 22. And it, 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 it works on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing just, just what you can do with it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's cool. But my favorite one is this right here is the bow model. I mean, you got to love that. Yep. Is that not cool? I mean, you can go out and barman hunt, rabbit hunt, do anything you want to do with the bow model, stick and shoot, or the gun model. Whichever you weapon you choose. I mean, this, this is the deal right here. This is the ticket. Easy yep. on, easy off. Yep, just you know? hit the pressure switch when you're ready to pull that trigger and you're ready to go. We do the same thing with our crossbow. You know, we've got a crossbow extension that works on most of the crossbows. There's a couple out there that have redesigned their crossbows in the last couple of years that have uh, changed the uh, basic design of a crossbow. But there's going to be a way to put them on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, yes. we're working Some on way. it. <laughs> yeah. The cool thing is I come out tonight and, and, and Wes presents me with... Uh, a new stick and shoot, shoot version to go on my camera that we're videoing with right now, which is phenomenal. It's it's cool as can be. I mean, we already tested it, and we're going to test it tonight. We're going to go out hog hunting tonight with Mr. Stick and Shoot, and hopefully we'll bring home some bacon tonight. That's right. <laughs> well, they're coming in tonight, and so anyway, I'm I'm ready when you are, partner. I'm ready, man. Oh. I'm ready to stick something. Anyway, stick it with a stick and shoot. That's right. Stick it on and smoke them. Yep. You know, it's a 200 lumen light. And uh, what we did was with the light is is that when I designed this light, we what we did is we took all the halo beam. It took us three lighting manufacturers before we found one that would work with us. And uh, what we did is we redirected all the halo beam back into the bullseye. So you've just got a double concentration of light to a center focal point out there. And with, uh, you know, our optical lens that we use in there is basically the same thing as in a binocular. 
So this is what creates your 200 lumens out there, and it just throws a tight tactical beam <laughs> out there that, that you can see a long, long ways away. That's, that's, that's good to know, and, and the cool thing is it's made in America. That's right. How about that? Yep. <laughs> you know. Well, we try to do everything we can to keep this as fully American-made product. And from extruding our aluminum to, you know, we build them right here in Powderly, Texas. There you go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, man. <laughs> I know I like mine. Well, we sure do appreciate you having hey, us man. on. We appreciate yes, you, sir. man. And mm -hmm. let's go out and try to try to shoot some pigs. And get let's some, go kill some. Let's bring some ham home. That's right. <laughs> appreciate <laughs> it, man. All right. Thank you. What do you think? Yeah, we didn't do the crossbows on the thing. And read it right quick. So we, 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 we can throw we, the crossbow in there. Yeah, we can. You're still recording. Okay. <clears throat> Hang on one second. <clears throat> yeah, one more thing, Mike. You know, it's like with your crossbows, most of them out there, they have a 5, 16, 18 thread screw right. in them. So it holds so, the bow yeah, onto yeah, the stock. That's know. right. just keeps the whole thing together. Right. So you remove that, and what we've created is, is the exact same thing with a key stock, or the hexagon key stock on it. So that you can stick your stick and shoot on here. It's called the stick and shoot crossbow adapter. There you go. <laughs> and then that way, you can either turn your light on and hit your pressure switch, or you can use your tactical tail switch. But either way, right. it's deadly at night. Right. So. Yeah, and that, that makes the crossbow even more more user friendly and even deadlier at nighttime with with the stick and shoot. Oh yeah. That, that's that's. Well. That's thinking right yeah. there. It's thinking outside the box. And you know, yeah. the nice thing is, it's just like with my my rifle, and same thing with this crossbow, even with it sticking this far right here, Mike, looking through this scope right here, it's just as bright green, oh, yeah. it just looks just like it's daytime. So, you know, you can just put it on them and smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part. I love, I love that. Stick it on and smoke them. Stick em. it on and smoke them. <laughs> Well, anyway, thank you for your time, buddy. You bet, man. I love the product, and uh, we'll showcase it every chance we get and use it on the show as much as possible. Sounds good. You bet, man. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Anything else? Okay. <sighs> Pretty good stuff. Oh, I think we did all right with it.